Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Beeson. Botox, you probably know it, is the most commonly performed surgical procedure, with over 6 million procedures being performed each year. What you might not know is that there are actually three types of Botox-like medications. We call them neuromodulators, Xiamen, Dysport, and of course, Botox. Now, although they're slightly different, they all function approximately the same, have the same effect, and approximately the same cost. We usually use them to treat facial wrinkling, treating the forehead frown lines and the deep creases, or 11 lines, that develop between the eyebrows, treating the crow's feet and fine lines under the eyes, and in some cases, helping to lessen the deep creases in the upper lip and those unsightly bands or cords that can develop in the neck. But there are also some other interesting uses for Botox, treating migraine headaches. Some studies actually show that Botox can be effective in up to 64% of cases and reducing underarm perspiration. We call it hyperhidrosis, which for some people can ruin clothes and be an odor problem. Recent studies show that it may be effective in helping to reduce the redness and skin irritation in patients with rosacea. And currently, researchers are investigating its use in controlling pain after certain types of surgical procedures. For additional information regarding Botox and other neuromodulators, just click on IndieBoomer.com or Beeson.com. I'm Dr. Bill Beeson, and we look forward to seeing you next time.